Yo, welcome back to our channel, Nick and Helmy. So today we are in Sydney Airport because yes. we are gonna be flying to Japan. This right. has been a long time coming. We've been planning this. Yes. We're flying Singapore Airlines. So today we're gonna be reviewing the economy food uh, mm -hmm. from here to Singapore and, and then from Singapore, Singapore all the way to Japan. Japan. Yes. I think it's gonna be a little bit different because I think the flight from Singapore to Japan that we're gonna have are like Japanese, Japanese food, food. Yeah. but I think here to Singapore you can, you're gonna have a selection of Western and Western also, and also Singaporean, food. Singaporean food. But luckily we actually got access to the lunch That's even right. though we don't fly business class. Mm -hmm. So we want to thank Pelago and also Singapore Airlines for inviting us. Yeah. So we've got three hours to spare. The Chris Flyer Lounge is right behind us. Mm -hmm. Let's go check it out. All right, so now we're in. It uh, looks like there's a buffet section right as you enter, and then yep. all the seats on the other side. Come on. Let's take a look. All right, so this like normal chair, right? But this one is the cubicle. Look at this. Looks like, I don't know, the business class or the first suite because it looks super comfy. And as you can see, it's like this feels like I'm studying again but anyway there's free Wi-Fi obviously and also the plug and yeah it's quite comfortable but not for two people though only for me all right it's food time help me yes let's go it smells so good but somehow we ended up in alcohol section first <laughs> Well, so, the buffet is right here. Yeah. But so here. This is the alcohol section, and of course, there's soft, soft drink, drink beer. And juice, beer, um, red wine, white wine, even champagne. That's like, right. It's if you want to get knocked down, knocked out. If you want to get knocked out, you can do it here. Yeah, do it here before your flight. Yeah. <laughs> and you get knocked again yeah. on your flight as a <laughs> business right. class passenger. So, this is the food. Let's see. What do we get? All right, so this side is the salad. I guess normal salad. Um, we have what? The sweet pumpkin, potato. spinach. Uh, we've got some potato salad here. Oh, potato salad, yeah. yeah and there's some cheese on the other side too. Mm, cheese platter and obviously fruits as well. Oh, and this side is the Indian style. Paneer, masala, butter, spinach and peas. What is this one? Oh, this one is pasta and beef curry i think it's pretty good hey right and if you only feel like something light you can always have sandwich <laughs> and fruits as well and of course if you want to have coffee barista coffee oh they have soy milk and also almond milk whatever milk you want and of course come here come here it's the dessert why is it so small why but yeah it looks good there's like lemington brownie and yeah and obviously a jasmine rice and it has to be in the rice cooker that's correct and what's this Ooh, barbecue chicken tomato rice and raisins flat noodle stir fry mm. okay so we decided to try everything i mean why not because this is our first time to the chris flyer lounge okay so here we've got the barbecue chicken, tomato rice there, and then the beef curry, penne pesto with basil, and then the kwetiau as well. I always like to get a bit of the rice and a bit of the beef of curry. I think that's a good combination. Let's start off with that. I really love the long grain rice. Really helps with getting that sort of tomatoey flavor out. That beef is, it looks dry, but like when I eat it, it literally just breaks apart in your mouth. That's really, really soft and brittle for a beef. That's, that's quite good. Hmm. What I really want to try is actually the chicken. The chicken looks really, really juicy. Like inside there was like submerged with all that sauce there. So I'm really, really keen to kind of try this. Ooh, and it's smoking hot too. Mm. Yeah, so far that's gonna be like the best thing to eat here. Whatever recipe they put in there, like it's really good. The soya sauce, that sweetness. Chicken is like on point, it's like tender, it's soft. I mean, seriously, this is a business class lounge, right? Wow. Imagine a first class lounge. <laughs> it only gets better from here, right? <laughs> hmm. They got quite a lot of variety. 
here. So you've got Asian food, Indian food. You also got Western food. Not bad. Like the pass is soft. It's actually softer and not al dente. I think me and Helmi, we prefer sort of the al dente texture, but like it's, you know, each to everyone's own way of cooking. The basil is not really punchy. I love it to be more punchier and just like, yeah, just a little bit more taste, but still pretty good. It's warm, it's it's soft, it's, it's quite nice actually. It's just, it's a good food to fill you up. And lastly, the kuetio noodle, which is the flat rice noodle right here. Why they chop like that? Yeah, you chop it into like smaller pieces. People don't waste the noodle, it's easier to scoop out. Maybe. But, you know, it's not bad. I mean, probably the one thing that it's lacking, probably the wok hay is kind of lacking a little bit there. That kind of charred, kind of burnt, kind of aftertaste. Um, other than that, it's it's just like a normal kind of chakwetio that's kind of plain, it's it's okay. Yeah. So what's your favorite? So out of all, I think my favorite definitely have to be the chicken. That's like probably like the the most flavorful kind of dish here uh, inside the lounge here. Really, really good. I'm actually gonna go back and get more. So the plan today is to fly Sydney to Singapore, transit for a few hours and do a connecting flight to Tokyo, Japan. Well, we flew Singapore Airlines before and since then the seat seems to have undergone a little upgrade. The entertainment system for once. No remotes, just touch screen, which was very responsive by the way. They also have power plugs and USB plugs, which was a definite bonus for a video creator like us. But the highlight for us has to be the 3 hours free Wi-Fi on board for a Chris Flyer member. Now that was next level. Now the flight took off around 4 p.m. so dinner was served soon after. There was a few choices. I went with the lemon chicken fried rice and Helmi went for the beef stew with farro salad. It also came with bread, Arnold's biscuits and cheese. Oh, and wet wipes. Now the beef was tender and hot. Although it felt a little dry, but the sauce kind of compensate for it. And it also tastes a little tomatoey. For the flavor, it had a mix of sweet and savory flavor. It also was packed with a lot of lentils. Now the lemon chicken was soft. It had that classic sweet and sour sauce taste. If you've been to a Chinese restaurant and you ordered this, you'll know. Felt like a little chicken nuggets, but it was soggy, especially because of the steam before opening the packaging. Interesting, because I thought they would kind of opt for a Hainanese chicken rice for the Singaporean dish. But for the dinner, the lemon chicken was my go-to pick. Ice cream, salted caramel, and macadamia. This is definitely a nice finish and one that helped me, of course, approve. Creamy and smooth, but also got that savory and salty kick to it. A sweet finish. So there were two meal times on the eight-hour flight to Singapore. This was the second one. We got some quesadilla chicken and filo wrapped spinach with cheese. For a refreshment snack, this was really good. The chicken was extremely soft and buttery and had a really nice, I believe, like a chili mayo type of sauce. It was good, but not overpowering. Now the other version was on part two, which I thought was what we preferred more. Just classic chicken filo wrap, but the cheese truly stands out in giving it flavor. All right, so we just made it to Singapore. We have about one and a half hour to transit before we fly off to Japan. So the food overall was okay, not bad, but didn't have any options. Hopefully this one has more options. I think I saw there is some Japanese options, which is what we're gonna get. But now hopefully we can see the lounge here. We also have access for the Chris Flyer lounge, the gold one here. But I don't know if we have time. We have to switch to Terminal 3 from Terminal 2, right? Spacious Helmi. That's one thing for sure. They got like a really high ceiling. Yeah. Anyway, let's check out the food quickly. Because I know we're boarding very, very soon. I know, in like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nice. Okay, so we don't have much time, but I guess we're gonna get started with some of like dumplings, siu mai, hakao, something just classic, something quick.
not bad. Feels like it's been sitting there for a little while, but still pretty hot. It's got that kind of thin skin, which we really love, me and Helmi love. Okay, let's try this shumai right here. That sambal is nice and sweet. It's very different to the sort of the shumai that you have back in Australia where the, the sambal, the chili is actually very tangy, very sour. This is like more sweeter one. So it's like a preference. I kind of like a sweeter one. Sometimes the tangy one kind of throws you off, you know, it's a little bit of like, like an imbalance when you start eating savory stuff. But this is good. And Helmi got herself some laksa. Look at that. Yeah, so this is the DIY laksa. So you can make your own laksa. And basically very simple. It's just the noodle, this already laksa broth with some tofu. And um, I put some fish cake, my favorite. And also, where is it? Quail egg. Because it's very like high cholesterol. I only put one. And they also have the condiment as well. So yeah. Wow, pretty good laksa. It's very coconutty. I mean, this is like 12 a.m. Sydney time, so I'm not sure the feeling of having laksa at 12 a.m. Sydney time, but yeah, <laughs> the laksa is pretty darn good. It's quite nice. All right, and this is like probably one of the coolest thing. So you get a, a free pour beer here, like a machine that does it. Just put it here and I just press that button. Look at that. And they put it like the right way as well. So there's only a little bit of foam there. One beer in Singapore before Japan. And so that ends our little adventure here in Singapore. Now is the final flight for the day to Tokyo Haneda. Fortunately, the flight is a little shorter here, around six and a half hour. But I do feel it's just a little hotter to get a quick nap in between takeoff, ascent, and in-flight services. So definitely worth resting up beforehand. Supper was served about one and a half hours after flight. There was two choices, but we went with a sliced pork, which felt like Japanese sukiyaki. Bass and generous amount of sauce, got that sweetness kick to it. I actually love that. The thing is when you fly at 35,000 feet, your taste buds get reduced and food that would taste better on ground tastes blander on the air. So having one that is sweet or full of umami flavor did help balance that. Which we love because the pork was actually tender. Also came with a steamed rice that is sprinkled with yukari on top of it. But because we were so tired already, we decided to skip on the rice so we could just get a shot eye soon after. But there's one thing that we can't skip, it's definitely dessert, or in this case ice cream dark chocolate from others. Going to be real here and I have to say the ice cream from Australia's flight was my preference. You see Helmi likes dark chocolate and I prefer non-chocolate type of dessert. So naturally she's okay with it. After that we got an hour or two shot eye and the next thing we knew we were graced by a beautiful morning sunrise overlooking Tokyo. Felt a little bit like a dream that came true after two years not being able to experience travel like this. All right guys, so we are now in Tokyo, Haneda. We just checked into our hotel, dropped some bags, and we we're about to go out and explore uh, Tokyo for one day, and then we're flying off to Hakodate tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, today's trip from Sydney all the way to Singapore. It's a 16 hour flight, you know, eating everything. But yes, stay tuned, and don't forget to punch the like button, subscribe, so you get notified when we post our food and travel adventure, and we'll be seeing more of you from our Japan content. See ya.